Hi, my name is Skelton and in this video I'm going to show you how Raycast, the Dreamcast emulator, performs in this GPDXD+. I am using the latest build uh, available in the Raycast builds uh, .ci. I think that is the page where you can download the, the new builds and basically this emu has uh, been in standby for some time uh, ago so there has not been a, a great improvement lately so but i'm going to show you how it runs and how i have uh, my configuration for this in this video i'm going to be using a, a shield tv uh, gamepad not the the gamepad that uh, comes with the gpt xd plus uh, the configuration is exactly the same no matter the gamepad you use but uh, in my in my case I'm using this because it's easy for me to play with an external gamepad and, and record the the gameplay so I'm going to show you how I uh, configure the, the emu it's basically the same for all Android devices so first of all okay I, this I have to use you to use this okay settings okay first of all we take a look there when they say system path it's basically the location of the of your bios uh, this is the path of my mic micro sd card storage and this series of numbers this is uh, quite normal in, in nuat that uh, the, the external storage like a micro sd is, is uh, has these names so basically i have a dc folder with the bios of drinkers the drinkers bios there and my folder for my games from, uh, from uh, Raycast which is the, the same uh, for the ROMs and also folder called DC this is basically where I have my 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 path okay if we we going down by the settings okay in BS region I am using Japanese but it, it doesn't matter practically because uh, the, the BIOS is the same for all uh, it doesn't change the emulation for it okay this option i have it off unstable optimizations this usually improves a little bit the speed in in some uh, android devices but it also makes uh, graphics uh, more glitchy use me maps uh, i have it off it's supposedly used for uh, this gpu card which is an old power viewer uh, gpu but i have uh, nothing anything different be between on and off so i i just off with the screen well this is to uh, basically uh, a hack to to run the games in one screen mode in some games it, it works uh, better than the others i usually prefer to play them with the original aspect ratio but this is something that you can change if you prefer the other way frame skip i use a uh, zero frame skip okay so on a screen uh, frames per second i always use off because uh, basically the it's not very reliable the how the uh, frame per uh, or the frame per second are displayed so it's basically uh, useless for me for software rendering this is only used for some games that uh, can may have some glitches or it is generally slow down the, the emulation to use the software rendering Okay, disable sound, rendering def, basically the 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 def color you can you can use. Generally, there's no very difference between using 24 or 32. I usually use the I mostly use the default. First, uh, if you see GPU config, I usually leave it to off, but generally I don't notice very different between this on on off. Okay, the direct options obviously on because if not uh, the emulator will run very very slow cable type i use uh, vha the drinkers region i would just use raycast it doesn't matter because uh, all the region have all the languages uh, so the system will will use the language that you have in your android device in your android device you have english then your drinkers will be in english in the videos and so on so far so the broadcast is pretty much the same i my using i using uh, the american NTSC, the National Television System Committee, and it doesn't matter because most uh, poll games, for example, uh, have uh, an option to to use uh, 60 Hz, so it's pretty much the same. 
limit the frames per second because if we don't have this on many games will run faster than it should yeah this is how how it sounds if you if i use off uh, some games will be completely uh, accelerated yeah, and will run uh, much faster than the original device okay this is something that uh, makes anything and this is option is important synchronous recording okay uh, rendering sorry uh, synchronous this emu raycast uh, use uh, an asynchronous mode to render uh, or to display graphics, basically it's a, a fork or a, a kind of continuation of null DC, which is probably most known by most people. And this option makes that the uh, graphics or the, the frames per second looks more consistent. And so I, I prefer to uh, have it to on, to on. If we use this to off, it generally uh, needs uh, a less powerful device, but the animation can feel a bit choppy even though the, the system is uh, capable of running the games at 60 frames or or the max speed the game runs off. Okay, and the default disk, this is only if you want to uh, run the emu with a, with a game. Okay, now about the, the settings or the input settings. Okay, I'm going again to show this. Settings, sorry, it's not there. Input. Okay, in my case, as you can see, I'm using the NVIDIA control. Basically, if you want to use a device, you just click there, just press one button. In my case, say that the control is already used because I have uh, already configured, so it's, it's okay. And basically, if we want to customize the buttons, we press here, customize physical controls. We select the controller, enable custom key layout, and basically we just need to press the button as we want, for example, button B, etc. It's practically for all the Dreamcast buttons. Okay, the select button indeed is uh, uh, is just for the emulation options because Dreamcast ha didn't have a select. so. Okay, and basically that's it about the, how to set up uh, the, the emulator. Okay, now I'm going to show you some of the games. For example, I'm going to begin with, I don't know, maybe Ikaruga. I mind that not all Dreamcast games are playable in Raycast. For example, all the games that use the WinCE uh, backend won't run because it's, it, it is a limitation of the old, uh, basically from the old uh, Null DC, and of course some games have uh, some graphical glitches that maybe one day will be solved or maybe not. Uh, we don't know because, as I say, the, the emulator is, seems to be quite in the standby. Okay, this is Sikaruga. I'm a bit covered, so I'll use just easy mode. I have to say that I'm using the NVIDIA Shield Gamepad using a USB on the go uh, cable because the, the NVIDIA Shield Gamepad is, with, is connected via Wi-Fi Direct and not uh, via Bluetooth. If it were Bluetooth, I would use it via Bluetooth, but this Gamepad is not using Bluetooth. As you can see, the game runs pretty good. This is a very nice game for people who like shooting apps. Also, a lot of great music. Okay, and this is. What I'm going to show you now is the options for the game. For example, as you can see there, if I press the select button, we wish before we have the different options. Disk swap, if I want to, to make a swap a disk uh, 
in the moment, the config menu, the debug menu, this is probably something that it is more for developers, screenshot to take a screenshot of the game, and the config menu, for example, I'm going to show you config menu. Okay, as you can see, we have the limit frame rate uh, activated, we, have, we just uh, also disable the, the emulator sound, etc. I'm going to disable the limit frame rate. Basically, there, we don't have a limit frames per second right now, and you will see that the game uh, runs faster than full speed because the game runs much faster than in the original system. So we go back. As you can see, the game is faster. The music is also speed up because we don't have synchronous. It's asynchronous now, so the game is, as you can see, runs faster than the original device. This is basically to show you that the game is full speed, because otherwise I suggest, obviously, to limit the frame rate to run to the way that the game is designed. This is what I mean that the, using the frame per second option uh, in the emulator is uh, a bit absurd because it's not reliable so if you want to see if your game is running full speed or not just disable the limit frame rate and you will see that in fact I have not, not uh, I, I haven't noticed differences in, in performance between using this emulator on my shield TV and using on this GPD it basically runs the same in performance. Also the game that have some glitches, have the same glitches on the CTV or on the GPD XT Plus. So in this sense, uh, this is more the most that we, of the emulator we can get right now. Okay, I can show you a different game, for example. Okay, we have, I, ha I get this uh, error or these detected problems with app native libraries. I think it is because there is a Raycast version installed by default by GPD, an old version in the in the firmware. Probably it's because of that. But it's just all the meshes, but the emulator works perfectly. I think that it's only because of that. Or maybe some kind of incompatibility with, with Nougat, but the emulator works okay. It just shows that message. So that's it. I don't know. I, I'm going to show you, for example, the Dora Live 2 is another Again, that is quite demanding. It's a very good fighting game, in my opinion. Okay. This message about the clock usually can be fixed. Uh, just put in the, the time or the dated time uh, about five minutes or, or five minutes after or five minutes before the, the, the real time clock you have in your Android device. But well, since it, this is only a video for testing, I'm not, I'm not changing, so, okay, I'm loading the game, generally the, the issues, it's important that they are in, you can in GDI format, so I have some of them converted to, to CSD. Okay, I'm going to show you something different. For example, here I'm going to just to so you can use. For example, as you can see, the wide screen option is to force the for the, the screen rate. I'm going to also unlimit the frame rate here. As you can see, the game runs very fast. So as you can see, some games may look that the animation it could be a bit choppy, but this is. As I said, because the way of the emulator renders the game, not because the system lacks the speed of, of display, full speed. Okay, as you can see, with the limit frame rate, it's running completely accelerated. I 
I must say that this game uh, has a great graphics and it doesn't show his, its age, in my opinion. As you can see, the widescreen mode has some glitches sometimes. As you can see, the music sounds completely faster because we need to limit different rate because it's not we are we're gonna I, sorry we're gonna go a bit crazy sometimes if we enable and disable the different rate the emulator gets a bit sloppy you notice that, that it runs a bit strange right now this is a problem with the emulator if you enable or disable this during a game it's the same with <coughs> with the French game. Okay, I don't know, maybe sometime to, to show you a different game. As you can see, it shows this error too. And I don't know, I'm going to show you, for example, King of Fighters. I will make a couple of, of Dreamcast videos to show different game. Okay, I have my, my videos in Spanish. It's because I changed my language in, in the videos for records in Spanish, that, that's it, what it shows in, in Spanish. But as, as I say, you can change the, the Dreamcast language uh, like, like you want. In that case, you just need to, to enter the videos. I, I'm going to show you how to enter the videos. Okay, single play, for example. Okay, I'm going to... This case is based in King of Fighters 99. This is the evolution version that has uh, the... Well, the Shield TV gamepad is not a bad to perform special movements, it doesn't have a great debug, but even even though it's not very difficult to to make to make them. This game runs practically perfectly. Maybe there is, there can be some little glitch here and there when when the render some stage, but it for me is completely playable. For example, you can see it, it renders a little bit more at, at the red or at the right part of the image to the, up to the red. But this happens in, in all Android devices, not not only in this GPD. As I say, I, I tried this demo in my Shield TV, and it runs practically the same that it runs here. So it's not a problem of performance or or whatever. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. For example, the what I say, the, the BIOS options. Okay, as you can see here, here we are in my. This is the the games that I have installed right now. Some of them I, I have not even tried yet. If we want to enter the Dreamcast BIOS, we just press here, boot Dreamcast BIOS. And. As I say, you can change whatever you want. Here is in Spanish, but for example, conf configuration idioma español is the same as language. So, for example, I'm going to put you in English. Maybe if you prefer English, that is more comfortable to you. And basically, that's it. Here, you can check your visual memory. For example, no file found here. And no file found here. Well, I haven't, I haven't saved saved any game yet. So basically, the, the game that you're gonna save will be saved in in these two uh, memory cards, or visual memory cards. The same that uh, if you use a real Dreamcast. In this same is exactly the same. First of all, you need to enter BIOS, formatting your 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 uh, visual memory, and then after that you can just uh, save game in the in the emulator because this emulator uh, doesn't support uh, save states or load states so basically you need to to save like in a real dreamcast okay i have to make a cut and now again i show you some other game okay here i again i'm going to show you the 
newer games I just make uh, a cut in the recording because uh, maybe the camera only allowed uh, 20 minutes uh, per clip so I don't know I'm going to show you some other game for example Project Justice or River Schools 2 it's uh, another great fighting game in fact Dreamcast is full of fighting full of, of great games so Obviously, as you can see, it's a rip by Echelon. This is the 60 Hz display. Okay. The data will be saved to the memory card, as it says there. Okay, for example, I'm going to choose this one. This game is a port of a Naomi game, I think, if, as far as I remember, and it's pretty a, a, almost a pixel perfect port of the original game. with the special movement well as I say the, the shield TV game pad is not the presently the best uh, D pad to make special games the same the, the GPD game D pad works much better than the shield TV game pad but I have to use this in order to record the, the games more properly because I don't have a tripod yet, sorry Bastard. As you can see, there are some minor flickering here and there because the emulation is not completely perfect, but just that happens in, in all Android devices. So, the only thing we can expect is that they improve the emulator, but as I say, this is a little bit on, on standby yet. So, okay, I'm going to show you another game. For example, okay, this, this game is really nice. It's one of the latest games, or one of the latest Dreamcast games developed even after the, the death of the, of the device. It's Stormwind. It's a nice shooter. I suggest that people that own the Dreamcast buy this game. I have this game bought, in fact, because I own a, an original Dreamcast yet. And it's one of my favorite devices and this game was released about a couple or, or three years ago and I bought it just to support the, the developers. Okay, as you can see, the game detect the memory card. Okay, I'm going to skip the intro. Okay, start game. Let's say normal mode. And the first level. Just as a curiosity, this game is not properly emulated using Null DC emulator on, on Windows, which is quite strange because Raycast is more or less based on Null DC. And it runs right here, but not on Windows. Well, probably with the mool, but not with no DC.
these games have a great music as you can see or as you can hear the game runs really nice By the way, the shielding pad is not detected by default in the GPDXD. I'm using because I modified a couple of files, and since I'm root, I'm, I'm able to, to include it. I support that GPD will include it in the next firmware, or at least I send them the files to include them. If not, well, I can explain for someone who have a shield TV gamepad and want to use it how to how to how to set up the, the gamepad for the GPD. Okay, I think it's time for another game. As you can see, the games run great. Okay, I don't know. Uh, Why well, Sonic? You probably has you or uh, has seen Sonic a lot. I don't know. For example, Siberia Two is another. It's another game that is quite demanding. I have not tried all of them. Maybe there is some game that uh, won't load. So that's something that may happen. Okay. to use the horizontal three I'm going to use easy difficulty okay I'm going to just save my settings process success okay and game start As you can see, there are some slight graphical issues. It happens with with some games, depending on the This game has some slowdowns, but they are slowdowns that also happen in the original game. It's not a problem with it, a slowdown in the, in the emulator. This is slowdown happening in the original system too, because I, I own this game, so I can tell you for sure. In fact, you want to to see that the game run. You see, if I limit different way, the game runs incredibly fast. Okay. Well, this is, can be a mode for people who really beat in the device and want a challenge to try to 
to be the game at a higher speed it's not my case so I'm just going to use the default one This game is also available in PlayStation 2, so you can get an idea that it's quite a modern game and it's a, game, a really nice game. Oh my! Yeah, this is a bullet hell. Oh my! Okay, we beat it. No, nope. I thought I had that. No. This is one of the difficult part of the game. When you continue, you begin at the beginning of this stage. So it's a quite challenging game. If you like those those kinds of games, okay, I'm going to try. For example, I don't know. Maybe Capcom versus SNIK2. It's a fighting game, a quite nice game also, so a game that unfortunately only works for Japanese people, for Japanese. It, Capcom didn't release it for European or North American market. Probably because it was at the, at the end of the lifespan of the Dreamcast. A too short lifespan. My opinion that system deserve a uh, better luck than Okay, I'm just going to use a single match for example. Okay, for example, I'm going to select Okay, I'm not gonna be very original so I just I just use Rio. Well, as I say, the, the Shield TV gamepad is not really in the world to play fighting games, but I do my best with this kind of gamepad. Again, just to show you that the game runs as it should. Maybe if it has sometimes choppy animation, it's because of the emulator, but not because of the power of the device. In fact, if I disable the limit on rate, you can see. Okay, this is. We could call it Capcom vs. S1K2 Turbo right now. I said that the music is so, so accelerated. So. Okay, time to time to go to the normal settings. You can see this game works works okay. There is also some game that is quite good with this Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but it has some minimal graphical glitches that are still there no matter the build you use. So okay, I can show you maybe. 
okay, so, someone demand me or ask me to try Quake 3 Arena. I have no idea if this game works on Raycast or not. It's the, the first time I, I try. I'm not a big fan of, of shooters and especially with a gamepad. So I have no idea if this game is, is gonna work or, or work on Raycast or, or not. So it's that someone requested so I can try to see if it runs, but I don't have uh, no idea to be honest. I have no idea if it's doing something or not. It doesn't seem so. It seems like if the game is hand, I'm going to try to use this, but no. Probably the game is is buoy or doesn't run okay with with Raycast because it doesn't allow me to do anything right now. Okay, so this game seems to, yeah, it's certainly not working because in fact the emulator just got hand. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load the emulator again and I'm trying to, to try a different one, for example, Daytona. Okay, this is the last time I tried. If someone have a, a request, I can try. I can try the game personally to see if it runs or not. But as I say, the, this this device runs Rinkas games in my opinion just fine. And then if you see the limiting the 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 frame rate if we. This is a limit different rate, uh, we see that they run full speed, so... Okay, it asks me to load the game. Maybe sometimes uh, if a game doesn't load, you can try a different a different dump, a different ISO, in G G GDI format, in CDI, a different redump, so, because sometimes it's what makes what can make the difference? Okay. I'm not... Uh, I haven't played Daytona. I'm not a big fan of Daytona, but... I'm gonna try this game because someone also requested me to try, so... I know that many people like Daytona and probably I'm going to kill me if I say that Daytona is not my, one of my favorites, but it's, it is like that. Okay, the analog is a bit sensitive, but I'm doing my best. It's the first time I, I tried the game in the emulator. I played this game a lot of time ago, but it's been years since I played this. Because as I said, I love Sega games, but Daytona is not precisely one of my of my favorites. Whoa. As you can see, the game it's completely playable for me. Some minimal graphical glitch here and there, but it's completely playable. Okay, my camera, sorry, makes me makes me have a black moment because uh, I have to edit. Okay, I'm going to do a, a retry so you can 
you can see the game better. One thing I, I have to comment is that in the Shield TV I cannot use the, the analog triggers as, as in the real linkers, just the, the standard Alan Air buttons. The, they are not detected by, by Raycast, but this is only a problem with the with the Shield TV gamepad. Maybe there is a, a workaround for it, but at the moment uh, it's, it seems it's, it's not detected by this emulator, but it's not a problem with the controls of the GPD. You, you can set the, the buttons as whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to try so you can check. I don't know because this game is very demanding. I'm going to limit to disable the remi limit of the frame rate. So let's see how it goes. As you can see, the game is more than full speed. If I disable the frame rate limit, it's completely faster. But as you can see, I'm a terrible player. Okay. And I don't know what other game to show you. Metropolis Street Racer runs also quite fine because it's a, it's a game that. Okay, Zombie Revenge, for example. Let's see how this, how this works. As I say, the drinkers have a huge uh, catalog of great games, so if you want me to try some game, let me know, I can try it for you and I see if it works or not. Most of the games that doesn't work is because of some incompatibility with the emulator, so there's nothing we can... Okay, some minimal graphical glitches here and there, as you see, the emulator is frame for perfect, but... Okay, I'm going to to skip the intro, etc., so that you can see the the game itself. As you can see there are some graphical glitches with this game. It may happen in other devices, maybe not. But there's no much we can do about about that. Maybe trying software rendering, but but this also may depend on the GPU used by the Android device. No time. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. Okay. What? 
Oh man. Also, as you can see, there are some graphical glitches. In some of the Rekal speeds, uh, there is no glitches for this game, but maybe there are from others. It depends on the game you want to play, maybe you have to change the, the Raycast build, but basically this is, this is what I can show you about, about Raycast in, in this device. It, as you can see, it runs quite good in my opinion, most of the games are playable. If you have any specific request, let me know, I can try the game. For example, I try Quake 3 Arena and it doesn't work, so it seems that some incompatibility with, with this game. But I don't know, it's a great game to emulate under Android and it runs pretty good in the old GPT XD, but it runs a bit better, especially in some more demanding games in, in this device. So it's, in my opinion, there is a little improvement uh, in this device in comparison with the old GPT XD in terms of performance, but it's, a, it's an emulator that is not very, very demanding. For example, PSP is more demanding or even Dolphin. I will make a video about Dolphin just uh, to show you that the, this GBDXT Plus is not uh, a system thought for, for Dolphin. Maybe in the future Dolphin improve, but uh, at the moment uh, it's not a problem of, of Dolphin improvement rather than the, the power of the CPU is not just not enough with uh, or for Dolphin. So, okay, thanks for your attention. It's, I know this is a, has been a, a great video and a long video. So if you take your time to see the entire video, thanks for thank you for watching me. And I'm going to uh, make some other video uh, when I have some time. Okay.